Hello to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. For those of you that are new, today's tarot reading is about the daily energy, but I have added some bonus cards over the last couple that I've made, so the reading is a little bit more in-depth. I hope that you all like it. Now, for pile selection, this is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. All right, you can choose with your intuition if you're already skilled with that, and I'll see you in the reading. If you need a little bit of assistance, I will lead a short breathing exercise to kind of help you hone in with your intuition. So we can start by closing our eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds, one, two, three, slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three, slowly release, asking your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, which pile has the message for you? Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. A number between one and five may pop into your mind. If it does, select that pile. If not, one more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds, one, two, three, slowly release. Now when you're ready, open your eyes and select the pile that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts, that's your intuition. All right, for reminders, this is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. All right, go ahead and select your pile in the comments and description, and I will see you in the reading. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number one. Now, let's start with your tarot. I went ahead and drew you three cards today so you could get a better look at your day. Ooh, you start with the Ten of Cups, very nice. You got the Ten of Swords, so something's ending, and the Palace of Coins. All right, you got two tens out, so that is, um, that's very interesting. Now this 10 of cups shows happiness at home. It shows things working well in the family life. The 10 of swords shows an ending that's surprising, but is definite. So there's something ending. You may find out about it today, but uh, something is in the works. And then there's the palace of coins, which talks about having all of your needs met. So your day looks pretty bright and this ending doesn't have to be bad. It's just something ending. Now, from the Queen of the Moon Oracle, you get beauty. This is asking you to accept all the beauty of nature, the beauty of yourself, just, you know, the beauty of the world. Just accept the beauty around you and really appreciate it because the universe put it there for you. Now, from Crystal Inspiration, you get Celestite, Soothe Your Soul. From Moonology, you get Have Faith in Your Dreams, Waxing Crescent Moon. And from the Spirit Guides, you get Inspire Others. So you're being told that today you're going to have a wonderful, harmonious family home life. Something will end, but you're all taken care of. Accept the beauty around you and really appreciate it. Soothe your soul. And that beauty is actually going to help you soothe your soul, accepting that beauty. Have faith in your dreams. Whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you're trying to do, don't give up. This card means do not give up. You are closer than you think. And then finally, inspire others. Inspire others to show kindness, to show love and light. You know, Use the strength within inside you, the light inside you to inspire others to shed their own light. All right, that's all I have for pile number five. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you.
Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number two. All right, let's take a look at your tarot for your daily tarot. Ooh, you get the 10 of coins, so financial stability. Ooh, and a second chance somewhere with judgment coming out. And then chariot. Wow, this is a big day for you. You have got two major arcana out of three cards. So things are happening for you in the universe. They're happening fast with the chariot here. This is progress in your affairs. Things are moving forward for you. You are getting a second chance somewhere. So really appreciate it. This can also signify mediumship. So you may be getting um, messages from beyond. So pay attention to the little the little things that pop into your head, the little synchronicities that just couldn't be an accident. And finally, the 10 of coins. The 10 of coins is all about financial stability. So your finances are shaping up to be great today. Now, you also get resilience. This is beautiful in that, look at all of this life she is carrying. Like there is a burden on her but it is full of life and you have this resilience to pick up whatever life has given you and move on with it. That may be why you're getting a second chance. Now for daily crystal inspiration, you get Unikite, live in the now. Absolutely, you've got a chariot and judgment showing for you. You need to live in this moment right now because it's very important. From Moonology, you got your commitment is being tested and you're being asked by the spirit guides to feel joy in all that you do. So yeah, your commitment's being tested, but things are moving quickly, so it's gonna, you're gonna be past it very soon. And feel joy in everything you do. That is just, uh, that's your right. That's your, you're entitled to joy. So let joy erupt in your heart and just fill you. All right, that's all I have for pile number two today. Thank you so much for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number three. All right, let's take a look at your daily tarot. You start with justice, balance, and the Four of Wands, ooh, and the Two of Cups. All right, so here in the Two of Cups, we're talking about a soulmate relationship. In the Four of Wands, we're talking about doors opening and good news coming in. And then with Justice, it's about balance and sometimes even legal affairs going your way. So if you've got something going on in court, this looks like a really good card for you today. Um, if you are already in a relationship, this could be deepening your soulmate connection. If you're not in a relationship, then the universe is working on you today to get you into that soulmate relationship. So just keep your options open, keep your mind open, and go into it expecting the best from the universe. Now you get sovereignty, ooh, out of the queen of the moon. That is, you know, that's the queen of the moon. And it is all about strength and power and just, um, you know, the, the divine really looking out for you. Now from Daily Crystal Inspiration, you get trust your intuition with the amethyst. So that's what I was saying. You know, keep your mind open, trust that intuition. If you meet somebody and there's just something about them, don't walk away from that today, okay? That could be your soulmate. Now, ooh, you're gonna expect powerful change out of moonology. You've got a new moon eclipse and like attracts like. So you can manifest that soulmate that you're looking for if that is what you want. Whatever you want, you can manifest it because you've got sovereignty coming out here. You are a major manifester today. So remember to manifest what you want and expect that powerful change. Trust that intuition and this is beautiful. You're gonna have a fantastic day. All right, thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number four. All right, let's take a look at your tarot for today. So you start with the Knight of Cups. Very nice. That's a dreamy time. Death, something is ending for the start of something new. And the Seven of Wands. So there's going to be kind of fighting for what you want today but you are gonna win where you fight for what you want because see how this wand is so much brighter than all the others? It's a winning wand. 
So you are gonna win where you, where you set your energy to compete today. Something is ending for the start of something new. This doesn't mean actual death. This just means something's ending. Um, but it may be significant because it's a major arcana, so it could be something significant ending. And um, for some of you, this looks like some of it, somebody's getting proposed to today. Um, some of you, this is just a dreamy time, new friends, you may meet a new friend today, but somebody here is getting proposed to today, so congratulations and good luck. All right, now let's take a look at Queen of the Moon, assessing, yeah, definitely doing some assessing today. Ooh, Red Jasper, you're being told to take action, so whatever happens, especially in whatever you have to fight for of what you want, take that action, do what you need to do. Now, from Moonology, you get your good enough, full moon in Virgo. You are absolutely good enough and do not doubt it. And then focus on the positive out of the spirit guides. The spirit guides are telling you, hey, assess what's going on. See what's in your life, what you want. See what the universe is sending you with that Knight of Cups. Be ready for something to end, for something beautiful to begin. And fight for what you want. Focus on that positive. Always remember you're good enough and take action now. All right, that's all I have for pile number four. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number five. All right, let's take a look at your tarot for today. Ooh, you start with the Nine of Coins and the Magician. That is beautiful. Ooh, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so this is all super positive. This Nine of Coins talks about rewarding yourself with luxuries because you can afford it. This Magician is all about manifesting and using all your skills to manifest whatever you want. And then the Knight of Wands is about a whirlwind romance or that type of feeling in your day. So this is beautiful. You can manifest whatever you want today. Out of Queen of the Moon, you get Focus. And from Crystal Inspiration, you get Apophyllite. Stay positive, which it's going to be easy for you to stay positive today because this is very beautiful. Now, out of the Moonology, you get the energy is gaining momentum. So whatever you're manifesting, it is coming in. And follow the golden rule from the Spirit Guides. So the Spirit Guides are telling you just do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. All right, this is beautiful. You, you, your focus, this is, notice how there's a butterfly on her third eye. This is using your intuition, using these gifts in the magician. You can do this, you can manifest so you have money to spend on luxuries if you don't already. And, and this, even if it's a little luxury, you need to reward yourself. So whatever you're doing today, even if it's just with a fancy cup of coffee, do something nice for yourself. Reward yourself today. That's what Tarot is asking you to do. All right, enjoy this momentum and step into your power as the magician. That's all I have for pile number five. So thank you so much for choosing me as your Tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.